trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at trade what you see right now, folks, because you got to trade what you see, not what you think. And this is what I'm looking at in gold. We've had a heck of a move all the way up to 2020, and in two days, we've given back $80, the harmonic number in gold that repeats over and over again, 36 or 18. 36 times 2 is 72, awfully close to where we are. The 382 retracement of the low that we made way back when, if you remember, early February, comes in at, believe it or not, folks, 1939. And you'll see the low today, I believe, was pretty close to that. Now, all we're going to do now is take a look at it little by little because we actually were short gold based on that same principle of 382. I'll bring it up here to show you what we were looking at here. Now, this was, remember, this is a 15-minute chart. The other one was a uh, daily, and so you know, your patterns are going to be a little different, even though the prices might be close. You can see the 382 that we made last night. We hit it twice up there exactly at 1987, and we came all the way down here, and we went a little below the number we were looking for on this half-hour chart was at 1944. We went a little bit lower than that number. So what we want to do now is we want to look at it from one other uh, perspective and that looking at it as a pattern over what's happened say over the past uh, week or so. So all we're going to do now using the same things, just the same A, B, C, D, don't do anything different folks. Don't know how to do anything different and you know what? I'm darn proud of it. There was that low we had right here which was a 382 of this move right here. The market then makes an ABCD, and look what's happened over these last two days. There's your ABCD pattern coming in right here. 61% of the low we made back here was 1939. So we get below 1939, she's going lower. So that's basically all I know, and I'm sticking to it. I hope that helps. Anyway, this is a this is a real interesting one because this encompasses just about everything that I've worked on my whole career. You know, besides the Gartley patterns, the ABCDs, the Fibonacci numbers, harmonic numbers, all of it comes together here at 1940. Who would have thought here, who would have thunk it back on Sunday and Monday that that stock trading uh, up at 2020, that you'd see an 80-point break uh, in just a matter of two days? And you think if that's a big deal, folks, <clears throat> go back and look to see how the highs are made in gold. They have tremendous breaks, $50 and $100 lots of times on the way up. I should tell you the story. I think I've told it before. For those of you that have not heard it before, I'm going to tell it again because it's one of my favorites. It was 1980, and it was January the 20th, and gold was up the limit at $865 an ounce. And all the back-end options with interest rates about 13% were trading with spot gold at 865 Carrying charges made back-end gold around 1050 lock limit up. And I had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern on a 15-minute chart. Had to do them by hand, by the way. Had to keep track of them by hand using the Reuters machine. And I said, well, I got to give it a shot up here at this 855, 860 level. And so I said, oh, I'm going to do it. So I called the floor, and we, we cleared all of our uh, metals through Goldberg Brothers. In fact, the reason why we did is because that is what the Hunt Brothers out of Dallas, Texas, wanted to do. So that's why Drexel was clearing there. And they were a great firm. I don't know what happened to them later, but uh, uh, Richie Goldberg was uh, the youngest one there. And, of course, I'd done a lot of gold business over the past five years and six years and he uh, five years. And he said, uh, uh, I asked him, I said, how many people are in the pit? He said, well, he said, there's some in the spot pit. He said, there's a few. He said, but there's nobody in the in the other pits. It's just there's one or two brokers there at all. And uh, I said, well, look, Richie, I want to sell a December gold. Remember, this is January the 20th when gold peaked. And I was selling the December gold for 1980, was selling at $150 premium because of the carrying charges. And he said, oh, Larry, he said, don't throw your money away. I said, Richie, how long have you been down on the floor? 
And he said, I've been here six months. And I said, Richie, sell me two. And he called me an SA. You know what that means? Smart almost. Yeah, something like that. And I laughed and I said, go ahead, Richie, sell two of them, limit up for me. So he sold two limit up for me. And he said, okay, here's your fill. I said, Richie, put an order limit down. He said, I can't do that. I said, Richie, I said, you have to put the order in. I'm giving you an order and it's within limits. You have to put it in. He said, that'll never be filled. And I said, just put it in just for kicks and giggles. Okay. I didn't say kicks and giggles. I said something a little bit obscure. I don't remember exactly what it was. And I'm not kidding you, folks. About an hour or two later, the gold started to break. Once it came off limit, once eight, eight, we were at 865. Once we got down to about 855, 850, all of them started coming off limit. There was just nobody in the pit, and they went limit down. Had a $100 swing, up and down, 50 up, 50 down. And that was the high of the market, folks. And you know what? It wasn't until 2001, gold at $235 an ounce, that it finally bottomed. And boy, we had some wild stuff happening during those years. I, I have some of those incredible moves that we had were just uh, really spectacular. But with that, I went out and I bought myself a, a nice automobile. And uh, I was uh, always reminded of that. I had a... Um, a uh, license plate made for it called 300 gold because I thought gold was going to go down to 300 and it went down to, you know, 221 or whatever it was. Uh, no, uh, two, 235, I think is where it bottomed in uh, 2001. So I can't tell you of all the, the, the trades that I screwed up during that time because I'd have to be on the show 24 seven for about six and a half weeks. But that was one of my better ones. And I, I certainly, I certainly enjoyed that. So, those are just a few of the ones we're going to be looking at here. I wanted to share with you, uh, you know, we have a lot of stuff talking about the banks and things like that. And I think it's very important that we talk about what's going on with the banks because, folks, I'll tell you, you know what? Uh, this thing is not over yet. Uh, just because, you know, someone comes in and waves a magic wand and says everything's everything is okay Hello, operator. Uh, the world doesn't world work that much. And the reason why you know that is, let me just give you a, a bird's eye view here, okay? This is Goldman Sachs, okay? I'm going to bring Goldman Sachs. I'm going to show you some of these stocks. So these are, these boys know where the, they know what's going on, okay? You know, I'm a technician. I, I don't know why it's dropping. All I can tell you is there's more sellers than buyers. Okay, now that was a few days ago. I know we went a little bit lower. We we're probably starting to bounce today. But by golly, you know what? What happens if they know something that we don't know, that maybe the, there's a counterparty risk? In other words, the people that own the bonds don't have the backing much like they had in China with those real estate loans. Now, is the Federal Reserve going to be able to bail everybody out? I think not, but we'll see. Remember what happened on Thursday, folks. It was the largest repos we've ever seen in the history of the world by far. I mean, like eight times bigger than, than ever. And that that's not a good sign. So we're going to be watching some of these others to look at. But I'm going to, I have done some of these because I, I think it's important to see, you know, where these banks are. Now, here's one that because it, it's actually made a price target down here. This is the one from um, Jim Bartolone gave us, who will be our guest here on Friday, talking to us about natural gas and also the uh, NASDAQ banking index. You remember he gave us a sell signal here about three and a half weeks ago right there. And by golly, that's been a pretty good one. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart for the bonds, but it didn't come through. And th to me, you know, I'm a technician, so I want to get this out to you. It'll only take me oh, two seconds. That's one second. And then I need to go to right there, and then I go to right here, and I want to uh, bring the chart up, and that's the step number 12 or 3 or 6. Here it is right here. This is the Treasury bond since March, beginning of March, when we had that big move from 122. 11 handles, folks. We haven't seen a move in bonds like that ever in March because that's usually a negative month. And you'll notice here, this is where we are right now. Uh, we're having a correction now. And everybody wanted to buy it when we had this three drive to a top pattern right here into the midst of the banking crisis for silver, uh, Silicon Valley, Silver Lake, uh, Bankman Freed, and a whole bunch of others as a three drive to a top pattern. Here's the 382 retracement coming in here at 129 and change. We just made a 129 handle here 12928 just a, a while ago this is a this is a, a three day correction in a in maybe a bull market we have higher bottoms and higher tops that's for sure so basically uh, we're going to be watching really closely what happens now they've told us that this basically is all 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 el finito and done no more banking crisis we don't have anything to worry about until we do and folks if you think it's just one bank, I think you better pay close attention because I've shown you a bunch of these before, and I'm going to show you some of the good banks. Okay, now, remember, these boys do not have any trouble. This is the Mellons of Pittsburgh, folks. <laughs> Hello, operator. You know, look at this. Look at the correction that this has had in the month of March. I mean, this is really a big move in all of these stocks. They know something. Somebody is selling that stock. It's not just, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy Retail. They're certainly not doing that. Here's one of my all-time favorites, probably the worst bank, U.S. bank, uh, for uh, – time out. Larry's going to shut up here. I'm going to show the picture of this bank right here. You can see it's in a very, very pronounced downtrend for the last two years. And uh, if you think this is a bottom, then go for it. May the force be with you. But my goodness, 
it's got some problems, as near as I can tell. So let's take a look at a couple others. It's important because you realize they're all doing the same thing. Here comes one of the best banks, uh, investment bank. This is Morgan Stanley. Look at this. Morgan Stanley, even those, Jim Gorman and all his buddies, they know something's happened up in here because they've been selling for, whoever they are, they've been selling for well over three weeks now. And that then, when, then what happens at the end of the three weeks? Oh, Credit Suisse goes bankrupt. Well, Credit Suisse has been going down forever. Uh, well, two years. You know, you talk about mismanagement. I mean, that's, that's it. And then what happens is the United Bank of Switzerland was told to take control of the bank. And uh, you don't want to have that happen if you're in the banking business. That's what I would think, but we'll see. Okay, here's, here's one that's a little too late to do anything about. This is Signature Bank of New York. And I noticed today that they're buying First Republic is buying the old uh, whatever it is that they're buying. You'll see here that we're come all the way down here and now it's tapioca. When it gapped down like this and didn't open, that means that uh, no more. Now all it takes, folks, all it takes is one more bank, one big one, like Credit Suisse. Uh, there's a couple of them in Europe that uh, look a little shaky. And uh, but anyway, if that happens, then we're, we're going to find out, you know, what's going to happen because they have been. Here's here's the best one of the best, folks. Th this is a uh, James P. Port Morgan, J.P. Morgan, run by Jamie Dimon. You'll see here. This has been one of the best. You know, this is just a normal correction. All the others are, you know, they're really getting hit hard, but not J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan has held up relatively well. One of the few. Morgan Stanley's relatively good, too. But, boy, some of these others that made bad decisions. We found out today by Bloomberg that PIMCO has taken a $200 million hit. I mean, all of it. The bonds are tapioca that they had for Credit Suisse. They're done. And guess what? They're trying to get the U.S. government to back us out through the Federal Reserve System. They tell us, oh, we're not going to do anything. We're going to let the Fed do that. Hello, operator. <laughs> Who do you think the Fed is? Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. I've been through these before. Nothing like this. This is uh, this is the one that was uh, up today. It's up about 20% because uh, it has been uh, – this is a California bank. First, First Republic, I believe, is what it's called. And as you can see, it's had some major problems here. Uh, we've had a – it was up 25% today. It's gone up from uh, – Oh, I think 12 to something. I mean, 25% when you're down this low is not very much. I mean, you can double and it's still very much. But you can see they had trouble up in here on the way down. There's where the real trouble happened right here is when you were making a 3A2 retracement of the high. There's another 3A2 retracement of the high. There's the second one right here. And then you have the big gap down that day and a big move down. And uh, boy, that and it went down even lower. But it's so far, it's been able to hold it together. They've got they've got funding put together. Someone gave them a couple of billion dollars, and uh, it might have been the O'Briens. I'm not sure. I, I meant that as a joke, boys and girls. I love the O'Briens. I just shouldn't have said that because. Uh, and here here's one that it's a little scary if you live in California, uh, or any of the other 49 states because it's in every single state. Uh, and uh, I want to, my grandfather used to own stock in this when he lived in San Francisco when he first came here from uh, Italy. And it was A.P. Giannani, and that was Bank of Italy. And you can see here that we made new lows down in here. Uh, that, that basically is a, uh, you know, three drive pattern. So if we get a bounce in this, the bounce is what's going to be important, folks, because if it doesn't bounce much, and if it doesn't bounce much, then there's trouble in River City. That's when you got to really be scary. That's if it doesn't bounce at all. Because without a bounce, there be no ounces of gold in your stocking at Christmas time, they tell us. So we'll do one more, and then we'll get ready for our break here coming up. And this is, I have to show you this one because this was screaming at me, sell me, sell me, sell me. This is this uh, Silicon Valley Bank. I mean, it was running, you know, the hedge funds uh, or the IPO guys where they got their money before the IPOs. Look at this, 382s all the way down here, and then finally it gaps down, and then boom, it's over. And they are over. That's uh, Nobody even wants to buy them at, a, at a, a 10 cents or a dollar or anything like that. They bought Credit Suisse for 82 cents on the dollar, but they were told to buy that. And uh, 
I know they're not happy about it because that was UBS's major competitor. Now they've got their competitor under their wing and they've got to sort it out. And you can imagine how many layoffs are going to be made there as they thin the ranks to get the cost down so that it doesn't cost very, very much. And that's the, the key. They, they've got to take care of these things as far as, you know, watching what they're doing with their uh, – hold on one second. I have to uh, – I have to check one. They have to watch what the expenses are to see, you know, what's going to happen uh, with these things. So I hope that uh, gives you some indication of what we've got going on here. So live every day in, in an attitude of gratitude. You come back and we'll be having some more to chat about. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a gold chart up here to show you what we're looking at here as far as a, a longer term perspective. There was our 382 retracement that we had here. Now we cleared. Uh, all of this up in here, folks, we got up to 220. And, of course, uh, it measures uh, quite a bit higher than that. But now we've had this really severe correction today and yesterday and down about 40-some dollars so far and still falling. Uh, and that's what we're looking at. One other question that someone asked about was the Treasury bond. What was the exact number in the Treasury bond uh, for a 382 retracement where we might find uh, some support? And I'll bring that up to you now because we are very close to seeing it right now. Hold on one second here. And you'll see that that comes in at uh, 20, uh, 129 20. And we're trading at 129.30 right now. So that would be pretty strong support in here 
after this uh, big run up. Remember, this low right in here was also a 382 off of here. That looks like like it was nothing, but that was actually pretty big at the time. And then we started hearing about something going on in the banking industry, and you can see uh, what happened. Maybe it is over, folks, and it's all done, and I certainly hope that it is, but I've been here, been through these things before, and sometimes they don't uh, always uh, appear to be the way they seem. Because what it is is what it shall be. And what it shall be is what it could be. And what it could be is what it is. Now let's take a look here at the FTSE. We get this from our good friend Tom Hugard. Uh, Tom looks at you know numbers and harmonics and stuff. And uh, I think we can get this up here. There it is. There's the FTSE. You can see perfect retracements, folks, on this daily chart right at a 61% retracement right here and a perfect 61% retracement on the way up. So those are some of the things that we're watching here today. So I hope that helps and we'll find out whether it's going to mean anything or not, but that's the way it is and that's what we're going to be looking at. Okay, now we had a question from someone about one of our things that we follow on the commodity front and I'll bring it up here in just a second so we can take a quick look at it. It will only take a minute, and that is our good friend, Natural Gas. And I want to bring this up here. We will have Jim Bartolioni on my show uh, this coming Friday. He's going to be talking to us about the uh, banking stocks, the NASDAQ, and also a natural gas, because we've been looking for this market to hold this level right here. It did for one or two days uh, this week, and then, of course, we rallied just a little bit, and now we're breaking down. And we, uh, I don't know if we've taken this out yet, but we're very, very close to taking it out. So this failed after it got there. And hey, this might happen to the gold market too. This might fail right here. And we just, just drop out of bed like nobody can believe. And guess what happens? Stocks can go up. And that's what you have to do when you're watching these things. Because when they go up, they can go up a lot farther than, uh, than you might think. So we'll take a look at it. We got the bonds just hit 129.28, folks. So they're only eight ticks away from where we thought we were going to be. We just had a 100-point rally in the Dow Jones and a 10-point rally in the S&P. And we're coming over some real interesting times here uh, for the day. So this is going to be real interesting as we watch these things unfold uh, for today. I'm going to bring this up here just to show you what I've been watching uh, for today and we'll do this one thing at a time here and you'll see it's been pretty good here let's just get up here so we can take a quick look at it this is what uh, the forecast is supposed to be uh, for the uh, rest of the day because we've got a uh, about another half hour of potential upside movement uh, but we're also setting at the 382 of the daily range right now too uh, with the uh, Dow Jones and I'll bring this up so you folks can take a look at it and decide for yourself whether you want to trade it or fade it. It don't make any difference to me because the buyers and the sellers are the same different fellas. To take a look here, get this up here so we'll be able to see it without too much trouble. I, You know, folks, I'm sitting here doing David's show, and I just literally can't believe it. I've known him for 17 years. He was already doing his show when I first went to work for TFNN. And by golly, I'll tell you, it's been, a, it's been really a shock for me to – to see him, uh, you know, uh, and not be with us anymore. I mean, he's here with us on Thursday, and he died Thursday night. Uh, evidently, it was like 1 in the morning on Friday, from what I understand. And, boy, it was a huge, huge uh, shock. I loved his saying, you know, he said, trade when you want to, not uh, sell when you want to, not when you have to. I, I love that. I thought that was one of the best uh, one-liners that you can possibly get here. Now, getting back to uh, one of the questions that someone had, uh, and that was about the natural gas. I showed you that the natural gas uh, had been failing to the downside. I'm going to be looking at that more and more uh, all the way through here. But uh, also, I want to show you copper, which has held up incredibly well during this run here, because it's another one that someone asked a question about, and we'll get it up here. If you do have any questions, it's 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. We'll try and see. We had a nice little bottom in here. We're having a couple pretty good rally here with the other metals this past week. Our platinum didn't, you know, carry the the, the torch very much, and silver did. But uh, these things could easily, you know, melt down. This might be a different time where things actually going to be a lot different than than what we uh, than what we thought. 
I wanted to share with you uh, one other one that uh, was uh, was a really nice trade. This is uh, this is the the chart for July soybeans, folks. One of the most important crops because it breaks down into soybean oil, which is used for uh, paint, and it's used for margarine. And oh my gosh, there's so many and, and gasoline. Uh, it's an energy source. I mean, it's got all kinds of things. But as you can see here, we had a big ABC down here on uh, Monday. Uh, we got hit there on Monday, had a really strong rally of 30 cents. And then it came right back down and it was it ended up being a break even trade because we didn't take profits. I thought I was going to have more than that. But we went through that low like it didn't even exist. And that can happen with the gold. And if it does, and if it does, that's going to be telling us that there's something not right. And that's the whole thing of it's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. And we're only a dollar from our lows here of the day here on uh, on the gold right now. It's trading. I just saw a 1941 print, and the low has been uh, 1939. So it's less than a dollar, or a little more, about a dollar and a half from the bottom. The 1.618 expansion comes in at 1937. And so it's going to be interesting because we got these things are happening and they're happening in a very, very fast pace. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves that that's what we've got to do here as we're watching these things here unfold here uh, today. OK, well, we got the S&P right near the highs of the day. Uh, well, not too not either. We're getting close there. We got up to 21 here. We should be rallying till just a little bit longer and then we'll see. You know what's going to happen with the market uh, gold getting ready to make another new low here uh, on the day so that's going to be another fun thing to uh, pay close attention to today as we see these things uh, unfold here uh, today okay now let's move on to one other one that was asked about uh, during the break here and that is in the futures market and that happens to be the crude oil market folks and uh, this is, uh, excuse me, it wasn't crude oil that they asked about. It was the live cattle. Let this bring this up here and show you here. We had a really nice signal uh, in live cattle here uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, right up, well, about 10 days ago. You can see, well, two weeks. You can see right there is uh, where the big ABCD3 drive to a top pattern at 166 and had a big break, about six cents, all the way down to 155. And it's been hanging around there. And we're waiting to see what happens from this level. We're going to take a break, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to bring up the chart of silver. It's only down about 60 cents today, folks, between yesterday and today, which is not very much. It's not even close to a 382 retracement. I mean, that'd be down another dollar. So it's quite surprising that silver is held up quite well. They must have somebody stuck in the gold market. That's been my guess. Anyway, you'll notice here on the bottom, uh, we had that really nice three drive to a bottom pattern right here. We, we told you about that one. That was a long time ago. That's when gold hit 1618. Then we had this big run up here. Excuse me, this was uh, 1810 in the gold, not 618, not 610. Anyway, and we got up to the 61% retracement. This is when gold made a new high at 2020 on uh, Sunday and Monday. Actually, Sunday, and then it made another high during the session on Monday. So that's what's happening to the silver market. It's acting pretty good. Uh, uh, one day down in gold doesn't make a you know makes a bear market for one day because you're down forty dollars and still dropping. That's a really strong sign here that there's something wrong in River City, and we just made new lows in gold, so it's still you know heading south. So that's another one that uh, looks uh, you know really really suspect uh, right now. But I don't think a bull market is. That's how they end, of course. And we're going to find out if that is uh, going to be uh, the case uh, or not as we look at some of these things uh, unfolding here uh, today. Um, okay, now let's take a look here. Uh, someone asked a question about – I had five questions. This is the last one, so if you have any questions, you know, please uh, give us a call, and I'll be happy to, uh, you know, to tell you whether things are uh, – um, if I can answer the question, I'll be certainly – uh, help you uh, to try to answer the question of what I'm trying to uh, depart here with our good friend David not being with us anymore. Golly gee, it's just hard to believe. I mean, I, I used to listen to him uh, quite a bit just from the interest of what he had as far as knowledge of the things that were you know going on. So very, very, uh, very, very delightful to see uh, him coming on. Uh, really close. We're still only eight pips away now in the bonds here at 129.28 uh, is where they're trading right now. Uh, 129.20 is the 382 uh, on the run here. So uh, keep a very, very close eye on that. And then also uh, the uh, currency markets, you know, they've been jumping around a little bit, but the euro stopped uh, exactly where it was supposed to stop today. We uh, We were fortunate enough to see the daily chart here on the euro early this morning and you'll be able to see that we went right up to the uh, I've got to put the chart in so just give me one second to send it over and then what I want to do here is I've had several questions about natural gas because Jim Bartleone is going to be coming um, on our show here on Friday but the, the questions they had were related to today but let's take a look here uh, at the euro see with all the announcements that were happening today you know the end of the world had been put off and so the euro was relatively strong but what was happening is it was setting right there exactly with just about eight pips off of the the of the 50 percent retracement and so that was the place to sell it it went a tiny bit higher and then it's broken 30 pips to the downside now that trade is not an abcd because this low 
is higher than this low. If this low was lower, you would have an A, B, C, D, but that is not the case. But you still have a ratio, and that's what we're watching. There was the, there was the first 50% retracement, and there was the second one. So it's had some resistance up here. All we said was you only have to risk 30 pips. It went about, oh, I think 18 pips against it and then off to the races it was so that's uh, another one that looks uh you know really really interesting here as we uh, see these things here uh, unfold here uh today uh we got the s p just getting ready to almost make new highs we're only eight eight points away and um uh, we've got about another oh it's by the end of the day here the last hour of trading it's going to be very interesting because we have a uh, situation where the uh, and this is the where the AI is at least most uh, reliable is the last hour of the day because it's already made a prediction for what's going on during the day. And it just says that uh, this market may not close on the highs of the day. So that's what we're paying uh, close attention to here uh, so far uh, to uh, what we're looking at. And remember, Shane Smolian will be our guest on Thursday. Uh, he's been, uh, you know, saying this rally has been here and by gosh, it's here. So you want to hear what he has to say. We were certainly expecting it, and it did what it was supposed to do. It went right up to that ABCD pattern, and you know, it looks like we're going to close above that. We're at 40.24 right now. The high was 40.31, and boy, that is a sign that this market uh, looks like it may be going to break out to the upside and head out to 4,200 possibly. With everything being solved and no more banking crisis or everything, boy, that's a that makes it really, really easy to uh, to uh, buy some of this stuff, in, in my opinion, as we watch these things unfold here uh, today. Hold on one second here, folks. I want to uh, I want to see the uh, gold make another new low here, which it just did. So we still haven't made a bottom in that market yet. We're getting close, but no cigar as of yet. So it's going to be interesting. Oh my goodness, this is a there's a oh that's a well I don't want to say it's a three drive pattern because it's only on a five minute chart but boy it's really close here down here at uh, 1937 it looks like we could eat, you know I guess I could show this couldn't I sure I could let me just I'll make it a small one so that we can put the thing together uh oh <sighs> excuse me boys and girls the Palo Verdes are here with spring coming today the equinox starts today. And uh, that's always a fun thing to see happen, especially when you're here in the desert. Let's, you'll be able to see this three drive pattern without too much trouble here in just a moment if I can get this thing. There we go. Hold on just one second, and I'll just draw it in. This is just a four-minute chart over the last three and a half hours, and it says that uh, we should get down here to uh, 1937 here. Let me get this out so you folks can see it. I know it's a really short term, but... We have to kill some time here to show you some of these patterns because they work on the long term, they work on the short term, and that's basically all you can look at. Here it is right here. This is the gold market on a very short term basis. And you'll see we get this up here. You'll be looking at it right there. And there's where we are. We should get down here to about 1937. Blow there, folks. It's lights out in River City. Because then you have nothing below there. You got all the harmonics are broken. If we get below 1936, and that tells us that things are going to be really, really nasty, and maybe for a considerable length of time. We don't know the answer to that, but we're sitting right there on the lows so right now, within 10 cents, down 43 dollars, and it doesn't take much more for it to go down just a little bit more. And that's where you are. You're you're going to be out of luck if you get to that level. So we'll, we'll see uh, how this thing holds up, and that's really all you can do. I give you as best information as I can, but like they say in the trade, there are absolutely no guarantees. We've got the uh, NASDAQ getting ready to make new highs. That's bringing a lot of uh, our buying into the market, which is good. So we're going to see what happens that last hour, and that's what we're watching here. Okay, I think we've got uh, we've got a break coming up here. My goodness, an hour has gone so fast you can hardly even believe it anymore. So if you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. This is Larry Pesavento. Trade what you see, not what you think.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart here of the uh, E-mini S&P making a beautiful Gartley pattern, three drive to a top pattern, as you can see, coming in exactly at the 78% level here at uh, 4030, uh, one that measured to 4030 right there. We've sold off 30 handles, and then we've come back to challenge the top again. So anything above this tells us that we're probably going to go substantially higher either today or tomorrow maybe continuing on for weeks and months i don't know because if this uh banking crisis has been averted then by golly you know what things could go a, a whole lot higher i would think so those are just a few of the things that we're paying close attention to here today um by the way if you listen to my show uh, tomorrow uh we're going to have uh, stan harley as our guest the harley stock market cycles and then also we're going to have uh, on Thursday, we will have Shane Smolian, uh, thewolftrader.com. And then on uh, Friday, we have Jim Bartoleone of uh, Bart's Charts. He'll be talking to us about natural gas and also about uh, natural gas. And the other one, hold on, natural gas and the NASDAQ banking index that he told us the break was coming three weeks ago when we had him on the air. We all had that beautiful Gartley up there and son of a gun, the market just rolled over and by gosh, that's exactly what happened. So very, very interesting what we're seeing here today. 
uh, in some of these markets. So I certainly hope that helps. It's really been great being able to set in for David today. And uh, golly gee, little uh, if you think of him, give a little white light out there, folks, because that guy, he was a real stand-up guy. God, he's so smart. He literally had uh, just really, really a bright fellow with a, uh, I just can't believe it. Anyway, that's got to go on, move on. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's pretty much it, I think. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And, uh, you know, you do something nice for your neighbors, folks, if you can, because there's a lot of folks out there having a whole lot of trouble, and you want to help them the best they can. So that's all we can say. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. 